Long ago, I read a story. There was a thief and he became a killer because of the situation that forced him to kill. And then he became a murderer. Yeah. From a small thief, he graduated to robbing and murder. Yes. And then he had to be executed. On the day of his execution, he asked permission to see his mother. So they brought the mother because the mother is already there in the crowd. They always jump in to see the execution. Yes. But when he saw his mother, he hugged her and bit off her ears. Oh, and it was bloody all over. The people asked him, but why? Why did you do that? Why did you do such things to your mother? Yeah. So he said to them, she is the real criminal, not I, because she taught me to be the way I am right now. Yeah. Because when I was a child, I borrowed a pen from my classmate because I lost my pen. Master explained that when the criminal was a boy, he came home from school one day with a pen, but the next day, he no longer had it. His mother asked him why, and the boy replied that he had returned the pen to the classmate who had lent it to him. And then the mother said, Why did you have to really return it? You should keep it, and if he wants it back, you can just yell at him or beat him up. The boy was vulnerable, and he did just that. And later, it became like a habit. A habit, yes. And further down, more and more and more, he became a very professional thief. Yes. And then later he wanted more. His mother encouraged him. He became more and more a thief. That's right. And then he got caught by the police. So he said, my mother is why I became the way I am right now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Thief, robber, and then murderer. It's not far off. Right. Yeah, possible. Thus, Master said that lawless deeds should not be encouraged in any country. The security and wellness of its citizens rest with the government of that country. That's what they are selected for, not to harm their country and citizens by any way, by the consequences of their neglect to make correct laws. Number one, it lowers the dignity of human beings. Also, it makes a very bad example for other people. And then that society may be okay now, but it will get worse and worse. There will be no principles. Mm. It will be hard to govern, hard to maintain peace and order. And the authorities and a bad society will be a sore in the eyes of the whole world. What will become of such a nation when citizens become eventually degraded into criminals, losing all dignity and morals? Oh, dear. Yeah. What next? Uh, His Excellency... Donald Trump has recently spoken out against the push in the United States to allow transgender athletes into women's sports. He feels it is wrong to allow biological males to compete, may cause an eventual end to women's sports, and violates federal laws protecting women's rights. Mr. Trump is upset that the Biden administration has withdrawn support for a lawsuit seeking to disallow transgender athletes from competing in women's sports, as while in office his administration supported it. How does Master feel about transgender athletes participating in women's sports? Is it appropriate? Not really, because the transgender people are strong. They're like men. Yeah. Stronger and bigger, you see? Yes. Master explained that it is not fair if transgender females compete in women's sports because they are built differently. Terry Miller and Andrea Yearwood dominating the competition at the Girls Track and Field Championships in Connecticut earlier this month. Coming in first and second place, respectively. Their wins are making national headlines, not because of what they did, but because of who they are, two transgender girls. In the 70s and the 80s, we had the East German system where female athletes were filled full of testosterone, and it made them unbeatable. So for nearly a whole generation, the East German women totally dominated in almost all female sports at at Olympic and world level. Master also suggested that sports competitions could have a transgender category. Can make a different section. That's right. It's very unfair already. Feels not good already. Not to talk about fight with the weaker woman. Different in nature, already smaller in stature. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Women's sports should be only for women. 
That's why they're called women's sports. Yes. Or if the trans people want to be sportive, why don't they create it for trans? Yes. Just like we have Paralympics for handicapped people. Yes, that's right. Also, like teen sports, it's for teens only. Yes. And if it's teen sports, but they bring in all the fathers inside, it's not cool, is it? No, it's right. It's not correct, okay? Yeah. Trump is right because he can see better. It's so simple like that. Any other questions? Thank you, yes. Uh, the United States House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has created a special committee of House members to investigate the January 6, 2021 protest incident at the U.S. Capitol. Republicans have generally opposed the committee's formation and Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy has criticized the committee's membership as none of his picks for the committee were selected by Ms. Pelosi. Ms. Pelosi has chosen two Republicans as committee members, Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger. Oh, yeah, against Trump. Yes. They wanted to impeach right. him. Right. However, as you said, both voted in favor of impeaching His Excellency Donald Trump after the incident. The other seven committee members are Democrats. Ah. Uh, what does Master think of the formation of this committee? What a surprise. I am surprised. Surprised that in a very supposed to be just and democratic society, it's a one-sided kind of judgment. Yes. Just say, even a normal citizen, when he committed something wrong, they have a fair court. Yeah. And if they don't even have money to hire a lawyer, the government even offers a lawyer for him or her. That was like that in America. Yes. But in President Trump's case, it's completely different, completely opposite to democracy without any lawyers, police yeah. even. In his old age, without friends, he could not bear it. You can see already. Why bother making a committee? Yeah. Just to write it all down, he's all guilty, he's bad, whatever. Like they have been saying all these years already. They even criticize, they call him bad names. They even call him bad names by his skin color or his hair or weight or whatever. Oh, it's a terrible example of society. Yes, Master. They don't even respect his constitutional position as head of state. He's one of the elected, legally, fairly, correctly. Yeah. It's not a fair trial. You can see it already. Right. What's the use of the trouble of making a committee? Yeah. Just to make themselves a laughingstock again for the global elites? It was a Speaker of the House. She refused and neglected to provide extra security on that day, though she had been reminded by President Trump and warned by others. And now they blame Trump, all blaming him. It's not fair. And the Democrats make a bad reputation for themselves with witch-hunting tactics like this. Everybody can see it's one-sided and unfair. They accuse him of anything they want because it's only one-sided. There's nobody there to defend him or point out the opposite truth or anything at all. Right. Why bother with a committee? Just write it all down, whatever they want to accuse him of, and be done with it. Yeah. Why waste money, time, and tax payment for nothing? For what? They just want to distract. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Because the next election for president is coming in four years. Yeah. So they just want to keep it going on like that so that President Trump and the Republicans will be distracted. Busy and with less high morale for the election, dragging his reputation further down, you know, for voting season. Yes. Also, they want to unite their party members against one common so-called enemy with the intention to cover up their failures internally as well as internationally, as they were not too successful with COVID, with vaccines, with the illegal immigrants mess, with the press critics of President Biden's speech, with surging crime, inflation, etc and failure to secure respect and dialogue from global leaders like with Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, and so on. Right. Honestly, they're doing themselves a discredit, the Democrats, and the disloyal Republicans, too obviously, like personal hatred. One doesn't have to be very wise to see it. Yes. Well, I haven't seen any other president in the world so hated and so bullied and so cornered as President Trump. Even if I were a Democrat for moral correctness, I would feel sorry for Trump because President Trump is for peace, never incites violence. Yes, that's right. Contrarily, many Democrats encourage unrest 
and defund the police, which is the people's protector. Yes. Even after so much bloody, fierce civil battle, shop looting, death, business burning by the demonstrators, still some important influential Democrats have been openly bailing inmates out for more or telling them that there should be more unrest or encourage more trouble, further damaging the country's economy in the pandemic time when these kinds of speeches and deeds are dangerous as they would fuel more violence and bloodshed as they evidently did. People are already in boiling water by COVID-19, losing lives, losing livelihoods. Such irresponsibility should be under control, at least outwardly, to show some caring sympathy for co-citizens. But they didn't care how simple people had to deal with all this. Only when they perceived some threatened situation, then all hell gets loose, and it's dragged on and on. Yes. And all the above people are those who are condemning Trump before and continue to try further to crucify him, to blemish his good name again and again. Yes. While Americans are still reeling in the pandemic and financial struggles, plus so many disasters, what a party that Democrats have turned themselves into. Mm-hmm. 